from Shiseido that I find quite interesting and I grabbed. This is a patting sponge for face and body. This is how it looks. So you can use it, I think, it's almost kind of like a stiff loofah. So here you go. This is how it looks, but it has a short handle. And then I got a Shiseido Powder Puff Large and a Macchiage, Shiseido Macchiage Powder Puff in a smaller size. And then of course, I had to buy a Shimura Curl Lash. Although I do have a Kanibo Curl Lash, which is super exciting. I just can't find it with me right now, but it's a handmade, exclusively made for Kanibo eyelash curler, which I will share with you guys as soon as I find it somewhere in my stash. So now I'm gonna go to the brand Sukyu, which is, I think, one of the most coveted cosmetic lines in the world only because they are premium quality and they are very hard to get your hands on so I think when I posted about this in IG I did mention that aside from Japan the only other counter that carries it is as far as I know is Selfridges in London there are two main things that I grabbed from SuQ and they are the most popular ones from SuQ so one is a tool and I did it posts an Instagram about it as already. It is the cheek brush, which I first heard of years ago from Lisa Eldridge. It's a very small cheek brush. It is handmade and it is all natural, 100% squirrel hair. I was canvassing at first, so I did look at the Hakuhodo counter as well. And they're a bit more inexpensive. This is really, for me, the most expensive brush. And I want to try Hakuhodo first because maybe I do have a Lunasol brush and Lunasol brushes, Lunasol by Kanibo is their premium line of cosmetics. Lunasol brushes I found out are also made by Hakuhodo and I was very happy with their blush brush but when I tried this cheek brush that has been, I mean, world renowned cheek brush, I, there, was just, there was just no comparison. I'm gonna do a full review, but I can't help myself saying that right now. This is how it looks. Beautiful, beautiful finish on the brush. You don't see the Suku, it's very like understated here. This is how the brush shape looks. And I will do a comparison review with my Lunasol, with my MAC, with my Dior, and yeah, but basically I'm just showing you guys this before I run off just doing a full review right here. And then it feels like a sin even touching it. I mean, when they show this to me, if you guys have seen my Instagram, she actually put her gloves on to show it to me. The SuQ Frame Fix Cream Foundation. It comes in a pot and this is how it looks. You also, it comes with a spatula. I'm, my shade is 203. So we did a consultation. So this is the booklet for the tools, the cosmetics, and the tools for color. Look how beautiful these images are. Anyway, so for the foundation, these are all their complexion products, and they actually have a chart in terms of shade, finding your right shade for base makeup, which is absolutely helpful. Okay, this is the cheek brush. So this is their brush menu. If I can find that, I don't know if it was on here, but maybe it was not. We initially thought I was another shade but it ended up that I was 203 this is SPF 30 this is what I have on right now just this foundation I did not layer it with anything else although I did use a Clarins the Beauty Balm primer so this is how it looks this is 203 so I will give it a bit more time before I do a full review on both of those this is how their skincare pamphlet looks like. their color cosmetics and tools and this is their skincare even their their bag is so beautiful the texture it's it's just so much better so I got four things from their skincare line they gave me four reset cleansing cream so there's two of them and then I haven't tried that and then they gave me one face protector SPF 50 I guess this is like a sunscreen that's like a one trial thing. And then this one I've tried and oh my gosh, I just, I think I have to have it now. 
and I don't know how I'm gonna have it, but it is beautiful. It's a so for the face. It's a refining foam. This is how it looks, and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out because it is heavenly, just heavenly. So that is about it, I think. Wow, I can't believe I'm done, but that is my Japanese beauty haul overview and if there is anything in particular that you guys want me to review more thoroughly or yeah that you want me to f make a separate video on you can let me know in the comments down below but definitely I will be doing first impressions and reviews of all but there are some products key products that I will be making a separate video or a sole video just on that one product and I, I think you guys know which ones those are already so I hope you guys found that interesting and informative thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening